Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, Pop Vincent here we, uh, for Raw Vegan Community. Today I want to give you guys a perspective that will help you deal with cooked food addiction. It will help you in general with food addiction. If you want to go on a raw vegan diet, you can go on YouTube and get all the tricks you want and listen to all these YouTubers giving tricks like me. Uh, they, 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 a lot of them, they say s something in those lines. All you have to do is this, 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 and that, and it's it's gonna be okay. Well, guess what? It's not okay. Like my perspective is this: cooked food is like crack, or heroin, or cocaine. It's a hard drug, and if you want to quit hard drugs, you need to get seriously ready. You need to think like uh, like the people that are on those drugs that want uh, that, that wants to quit. Uh, what are they doing? What is their method of quitting? Because you can go cold turkey, you know, that's pretty good, right? Willpower, the why power, <laughs> if you know my other videos, you can, uh, you know, educate yourself. You can even um, buy my 30-day raw vegan challenge or, or get a bunch of recipe books and apply all the tricks I give you and all the YouTubers' uh, uh, tricks. But... It's a mountain, okay? Hard drugs are hard to quit, especially when it's socially accepted that you take all these drugs and that no, everyone around you takes it. So it's possibly even more hard than cocaine or crack and all the other ones. So what is their technique, their method, their, their, their way of quitting heavy drugs and, 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 or alcohol? Well, guess what? There's already a group, uh, a program called the 12 Steps. And the group is called the AA or NA for Alcoholic Anonymous or Narcotic Anonymous. And these guys, they have like three meetings a day. They have a parent, like a godfather or coach. They have uh, two types of meetings. It's the testimony meeting where you just listen to one or two person. Talking about their testimony, it's very, very powerful. Uh, something I, I, I recommend you to, to do. Um, and then there's the meeting where people just sit in circle and talk. And, you know, they, they, there's a way to talk. You know, they're, they're, you got to read the books. I've been reading some books about this, to be honest, in the past week. I've read like three books on the 12 steps. It's quite interesting. Quite interesting. So I, I, I'm thinking about doing something in those lines. I'm thinking about making money, you know, like coaching somehow. Uh, my 30-day challenge is cool, but, uh, I mean, it's not that helpful compared to coaching or a 12-step program with, with, like, an actual protocol like the 12 steps, like those meetings, those groups. So, yeah, like, if you see narcotics, uh, uh, people that are hooked on our narcotics and alcohol, they battle all their lives You, you know, and, and you think cooked food is probably harder than that. Most, most definitely. Um, you, you know, those YouTubers, like, why, what are they doing? Saying, oh, you have to do this, this and that and it's going to be all right. No, it's a freaking mountain. Look at me. <laughs> I've had this, uh, I've said it in my other video. I've had this amazing supportive environment for 11 years. All fruitier and all raw vegan in the tropics with like good quality. And I failed for like 10 years, you know. So now I'm fully raw. It's cool, you know. It's been a while now. And uh, yeah, I found new tricks really that my, 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 I've made some videos recently talking about my salads, how I enjoy salads. That really made a difference. But anyway, a bit off topic. Uh, if you want to be fruitier and raw vegan, take all the tools you can and maybe get like coaching. I, I would say that. You know, it, it, maybe you're not that type of person. You maybe you're the type who can quit like that. Anything, who don't who don't get easily addicted. Uh, you 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 probably one in a million. You know, they say there's two kinds of people who succeed on a raw vegan diet. It's the really smart one, or the really sick one. And even those actually, they still fail. Like my uncle, well, he's not raw vegan, but he smokes cigarettes and he's got lung cancer right now. Yeah. It's very sad. It's my uncle. I really love him. And uh, he still smokes. Even if he's dying, he's going through chemo and he still smokes. All these people, they know that if they stop eating garbage, 
They're going to heal their, 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 uh, their diseases. Could be any, nearly anything. It's all caused by food. Nearly everything. It's ridiculous. So it, 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 you either die from your addictions or you, get, or, get, or you stop this life of addiction. And if you want to be raw till four, I've said this in my other videos, if you want to have moderation with your addictions, which is cook food or anything toxic, then, uh, well, I mean, good luck. Good luck. You're going to have a life of addiction. Like I've said before, you're going to be moderating. You're going to be cool. You're going to be good for a while. You're going to be like in control. And then you're going to fall off the wagon again. It's going to be in the weekends or just at night. Just one bowl of chips. You know, like, you, you, and then you have, a, you need another epi epiphany to come back to like a stable, like raw till four or uh, mostly raw diet. And then again, slowly, whoop, more salt, uh, more this. And then, you know, like it's a lifetime of addiction. And then you end up dying from your addictions. You get yourself clogged up. You know, you get like mental illnesses. You get like, you know, whatever, all these diseases out there, you know, this, it's all the same shit. Part of my French. But uh, anyway, I hope you like my video. Uh, take it seriously, guys. And um, yeah, like and subscribe. I, I, I would love it if you share also. It would be nice. And uh, yeah, I'll see you for my next video. Bye-bye.